Hey there, Charlene Stiles coming at you from my meditation room. This is my little piece of uh, serenity, my little pod of quiet and stillness. Um, I'll just give you a quick little show around. So this is where all the stillness happens for me or most of it. Um, and I just wanted to share with you a... I don't know, probably one of the most vulnerable posts that I will ever share publicly or have to date. Um, if you know anything about me or have met me, uh, chances are that uh, you can tell or pick up or have noticed that uh, I'm a pretty calm individual um, most of the time. That's at least what I've been told and I, I generally feel like that uh, a majority of the time. I do have to tell you though, I was not always this way. I was not always this zenful. It's taken uh, years of not only practice, but of self-awareness and uh, putting myself in alignment with the right things that truly make me happy and um, connected to myself. But here's my confession. The last, well, yesterday, I was so angry, I can't even begin to describe how much I reminded myself of the old version of me, this angry, unbalanced, misaligned, horrible, terrible, unhappy bitch. <laughs> the stuff that was running through my mind, the words, the thoughts that were coming to the surface of my mind and to my mouth was actually utterly shocking to me. So I got this flashback into my old life and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even know who I was yesterday. So there was this, there was a collection of, of various things that, um, external circumstances that it affected my internal terrain, which generally does not happen anymore. There is usually nothing uh, external that can um, affect my internal mood or thought process. But I was there yesterday and I resorted to the things that I know in the past that have worked, my practices, my trainings, um, and just being in, in line with myself. So went for a walk, got some fresh air, was outside in nature, and while that helped, and it felt great when I got back, <laughs> these colorful words and emotions were still bubbling and percolating. So I did, you know, the things that I know to do. I did some self-inquiry and some journaling, some, some affirmations. I went, I worked out, I threw some weights around, some iron, I got the heart rate going, blood flowing, cardio. I went for a drive. Um, I did all kinds. I even masturbated thinking my sexual frustration may be the pit of my anger. That didn't help. What did help though, and this is what this whole video is about, is not only a reminder for me, but hopefully for you about the practice importance and significance of meditation. It took for me to sit in silence just for a few moments to tap back into my own self, my own terrain, my own higher purpose, and kind of come back to home base. That's what really um, shifted my mood entirely and these horrible, nasty thoughts, um, which is really interesting because meditation is one of the things that actually propelled and fueled me and my life changes from this unbalanced, unhealthy, horrible, negative, miserable person to who I am today. So um, I am a certified meditation facilitator. So um, with that, uh, I mean, I've practiced a lot of meditation. In, in fact, for about five years straight, I practiced meditation or sitting in silence every day. Um, my practice has grown way beyond just sitting in silence now. It's actually taking meditation and mindfulness awareness into every aspect of my life. But um, yesterday, um, it took for me to sit down, and again for me today to sit down in this comfy little nook, in my silence, in my little um, kind of piece of part of part of the world that uh, nothing can be interrupted. And this is, um, I think, a, a really key practice of, of meditation if you're starting on into meditation is trying to find the same spot to meditate. And it builds up um, kind of like a neuromuscular programming in a way or subconscious that every time you go into this kind of space, it kind of gets you into that mode, you know, your body automatically knows what's going to happen. So this has been my space for a number of years now this chair, this ridiculous, you know, 
it's really outdated, but it's super comfy. But my body knows that's the meditation chair. I meditate in many different places in my life, but um, this is one place that's uh, that's kind of been home base for for a long time. Anyhow, um, I hope this helps to remind you the significance and importance about tuning in and tapping back into you, your true essence, um, yourself. The most important person and thing in the world is the connection that you have to yourself. So, um, reminder for both of us, and I hope it helps. So. Um, when you need a little mind shift, mood shift, of course, try masturbation. <laughs> but if that doesn't work, uh, meditation, try that.